Well, this weekend, the last weekend of summer officially, it's actually not looking half bad. Most of the clouds and the rain are trending to the north and the west of us. We're going to be seeing, at least in the first half of the weekend, pretty good sunshine. The second half is when our only rain chance comes in, but it's not looking like widespread precipitation. So here's a look at visible satellite right now, and uh, you can see that uh, we're pretty sunny here. There is that haze from some wildfire smoke that I mentioned earlier, but most of the moisture in the cloud cover well off to the north and the west, which is nice because this is trending to the north and east. This is trending to the south and east, so it's looking to go right up and over us or in the favorable spot of the jet stream. We're seeing some warmer air, a nice high pressure system just to our south. That's driving in a lot of this heat here in West Michigan. Now, here's a look at the wildfire maps right now. According to Air Now, you can see all the wildfires that are out to the west in Washington, parts of Idaho, as well as California. Now, the smoke is riding that jet stream as well. You can see that it flows right on into the uh, eastern half of the U.S., and there's some yellows there for poor air quality here in West Michigan. Uh, so that's what we've been dealing with here the last 48 hours or so is these uh, hazier conditions. It's caused those orange tints on those uh, sunrises and sunsets. And it's uh, made it look a little more mostly cloudy. That's what it looks like right now in Muskegon as well. It's actually pretty sunny there, but again, just because of those uh, hazy conditions in the wildfire smoke, it just looks a little more partly cloudy or if not mostly cloudy with high clouds. Areas inland do soak up the sunshine a little bit more. High clouds still overhead, but those are just passing through. We're not going to be seeing too much in terms of cloud cover today or tomorrow. And uh, a really nice stretch of weather with those temperatures in the 80s. Right now, we're already in the 70s for us here. 75 Grand Rapids, 76 Muskegon, and 74 in Kalamazoo. Afternoon highs, most of us expected to get into the low 80s. Maybe a couple of 70s stuck there along the lakeshore with that southwest wind and the breeze coming off of the lakeshore. But it's not half bad of a day, especially when you consider that we're in the middle of September where average highs are normally around 75, 76 degrees. So a nice warm up here for the next couple of days. Now, our dew points are in the low 60s. These aren't terrible. It's not going to be super humid this weekend, but dew points sitting right in the 60s. It's comfortable weather. It's not dry. Uh, but uh, again, pretty nice stretch of weather here uh, for the next uh, last couple of days and will be for the next few days as well. A southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Pretty comfortable, not breezy out there as well. And that's what sets us up in the sweet spot. Southwest wind drives in the heat. All the rain stays off to the north and to the west. You can see the system there right over Lake Superior near Duluth. That's the main part of the system that continues to track to the north and east. So we're just dealing with cloud cover the rest of this afternoon. Uh, the southwest wind again, fairly light. We see passing clouds again on Saturday. We're expected to remain dry, but then the moisture does start to creep into our area late Saturday and early Sunday morning. Notice a few spotty showers are possible. This mainly looks focused along and north of 196, but the shower chance for all of West Michigan looks to come on Monday as a few more pop-ups start to make their way into our region. But this doesn't look like a washout situation for any rain chances here at the end of the weekend or the start of next work week. So just enjoy this last full weekend of summer while we can. Looking at 82 degrees the afternoon high today, 84 on Saturday. The rain chances look to cool us down a little bit Sunday and Monday. But again, it's not a washout and it's not widespread. Not everybody will see rain accumulations. Then we see a nice stretch of weather going into Wednesday. Cool down starts on Thursday. And that might be that full transition into fall. You can see the warm air really tracks off to the south. West Michigan and that Great Lakes region, really that focus of that small blue dot where temperatures are trending cooler than average through the middle of the next eight days after this nice stretch in the 80s.